Walter Cronkite was a, a, a giant in the industry. Is that a man you looked up to? Is that a man who... Uh... I wanted to be when I was a kid. Yep. Really? Yep. For, it was like uh, Carrot Top to you. <laughs> That was a good segment if you missed They're it. They're good together. Which of those two men that you just watched right there is the most trusted man in news? MSNBC.com's Courtney Hazlett has the answer. And it it's not Brian Williams. What? what? What, what, what? Yes, Time Magazine. What was that? I, I don't know. I don't know. Time, Time Magazine did a poll asking people that now that Walter Cronkite has died, who's the most trusted man in news, they said John Stewart. Brian Williams, number two, though. So that, that cute little thing they have going we there. We all knew. They can it's an online other. poll. We all knew how it was going to turn out. John exactly. Stewart, who I like, would laugh before anyone at the results of this I, poll. I believe so. I believe that to be true, and hopefully he will. Us Weekly. This is Us a big Weekly. story. This Why? This is a big story in the industry right now. Janice Min, the editor-in-chief of Us Weekly, stepping down. Janice Mid did more for the celebrity weekly genre than just about any editor out there. And she makes a lot of money. I point that out because gone are the days when an editor can come into a new position and make a million dollars plus. So, she's the so one this, who, is, this is a big changing of the guard here. She's the one who taught us that celebrities are like us. Stars are just like us, baby. They pick out produce at the grocery store. Yep. More on Michael Jackson in your column, too. Exactly. A little Check bit of overkill. Right? I, a little bit of overkill. Let, let's the point. slow down and just really listen to what's going on. Good it's advice. not that sensational. Read more from Courtney and her column, the Scoop column at msnbc.com. You'll be glad you did.